Debbie Solango is retiring. Now you may not know her, but you've probably read her paper. She's been publishing The Old Mountain Trader on a weekly basis for just over 50 years now. The last edition hits the stores tomorrow. WOAY was lucky enough to chat with Debbie at this significant milestone. It sounds like a made up story, but it is the truth. It was over a vacuum cleaner. And that's how the old mountain trader got started back in 1973. That's the voice of Debbie Salango, the founder. She declined to appear on camera. Old timers may remember it as the trading times. But alas, all things must come to an end. The last issue of the old mountain trader will be in stores Wednesday morning. That'll be our last one. Um, I put a notice in last week's paper that this week would be the end. And uh, this week, the 27th issue will be the last one. Debbie Solango had the idea to create a paper where people could advertise for free after realizing that paying for classified ads was hurting her bottom line. You know, there's got to be a better way than this. I would make Afghans and do babysitting, but by the time I paid for the classified ads, I wasn't making much. Her idea turned into a career. Her paper became West Virginia's oldest free classified paper that served eight counties in southern West Virginia. And uh, at one point, our paper was 72 pages, but with the internet, that has dropped it down to 32 pages. And, uh, you know, a lot of the younger people like the internet, and my older customers still like to hold it in their hand and read it and circle what they're interested in. The response from her readers was significant. Especially about the gentleman that uh, said that he had a family of four and when the mines would strike and money was short, he would sell things in the paper to uh, support his family and he said, you helped raise my four kids. That was touching. I cried on that one. <laughs> Debbie says that the reason for shutting down the paper is that she is getting older and simply needs to retire. Which sounds vaguely familiar. It's a cause for celebration and condolences, perhaps. I came in this morning, first morning, that I didn't have to work, and uh, I'm already missing it. Reporting from Daniels, Newswatch 4.